They are being called Michigan's Romeo and Juliet, two young teenagers suspected of running away together, missing now for almost two weeks. Their parents pleading with them through the media to come home. And ABC's Lindsay Janice has the very latest on the search. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Until now, the young lovers have vanished almost without a trace, but their parents still terrified they could be in danger. This morning, a possible ray of hope in the search for 14-year-old Braxton Wood and 13-year-old Jaden Thomas. Overnight, a private eye investigating their disappearance told ABC News he's now following up on several leads from across the country. Possible sightings of the young Romeo and Juliet from Miami to Milwaukee. They are the first clues since the couple apparently took off in the middle of the night 13 days ago in Braxton's mom's Ford Explorer. The whole thing has been like a living nightmare. It's not like they're 16 or 17, they're, they're babies. The star-crossed lovers were due to start their freshman year last week at different Michigan high schools. Their parents now fear this may have been a desperate attempt to stay together. They wanted to spend a lot of time together. To, to be that intense at 14 is... You, you encourage them to do other things as well. The relationship had become so intense just hours before they left. Jaden's mom says she told her daughter she could no longer support it. I didn't want her to grow up too fast. I know that Braxton loved Jaden. I could tell the way he looked at her. I mean, it scared me to death. She's a baby. The private investigator says the pair appear to be more organized than originally thought and may have even changed their vehicle's license plates to avoid detection. But with every day they're gone, it's more heartache for the two families. Jaden, I've never lied to you. I've never let you down. I will protect Braxton and you. Whatever I can do, I'm always here. And I will never give up or never stop looking for you, honey. Never. Since this story first aired on GMA on Thursday, police in Isabella County in Michigan say they've received and followed up on at least two dozen leads. If you think you've seen Jaden and Braxton, you should go to the website at the bottom of your screen, signatureinvestigations.com. It, it's so, so sad, and because, and because they're runaways and they haven't been abducted, it's very difficult to find them. You can't yeah. use systems like the Amber Alert. It doesn't mm -hmm. ease their parents' pain, though. No. All right, Lindsay, thank you. Thanks, Lindsay.